punked us uh, tonight in three seasons, probably one of the least competitive games we've ever had. Um, it's completely unacceptable. Um, you know, you got to give them a lot of credit. Obviously, you know, we've had a lot of success against this team, recent success. Um, you know, we didn't take that to heart to say what we can control every single day, uh, but one of the least competitive games I've ever seen the Grizzlies play in three years. This is a such, I mean, you guys have had bad games this year. You've been able to bounce back. Does it give you any confidence that you've already done this 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 year where you've been able to take a bad loss and recover from it right Yeah, now? I got the almost faith that this group, I mean, you know, they've just got to use the word consistency, but, you know, um, We've got to have that fight every single day. Luckily, we've been able to bounce back in the past. Um, you know, this hopefully is the, you know, I don't want to say wake up call. I've said that before and all that stuff, but I've got tons of faith in the resiliency of this team, their ability to stay together and compete. Um, but, you know, there's been times this year when we haven't had that. Um, this was more the competitive edge. The other nights it was we didn't have the offensive, you know, juice. Uh, but even despite, you know, I know we struggled offensively. We didn't have any fight defensively and they took full advantage of it tonight. Where do you go now to try to get the defense back on track? And how much can you assess a game like this when you don't have Dylan or Milton in the lineup? Yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I've said Dylan's uh, huge for us in a lot of ways. Uh, the leadership, the defense, um, you know, the spirit. Uh, you know, we've had success with him out of the lineup, you know, but this is a great opportunity just to get back to work and understand it's our habits every single day, the details. But at the end of the day, it's just the competitive juice that you play with. They were really able to limit job, especially in that first half. What did you see with how they were defending them? Yeah, they double teamed him. They forced him to get out of the ball, you know, so he can get downhill. Dez had a good first half uh, and pretty good game in general. Just how have you seen him develop? And is it frustrating you get a good game from him? Usually that results in a win for you guys. And no, nah, I mean, I'm not, you know, uh, very proud of all the work he's putting in. I thought early as they were double teaming us, we were moving the ball great. He got great looks. They were in rotations. We found open guys as the game went on. You know, we you missed some shots. Uh, the ball stuck a lot. You know, we weren't making those passes uh, as we did early in the game. Um, but just really proud of the work. You know, he's finding his groove back. You know, he had that little mini slump. He's just kept working, kept working. Um, it's great to see the ball go through and for him. All right, we'll move on to Zoom. Evan Barnes. Hey, Taylor. Uh, uh, some time ago, you mentioned this team has two personalities at this point where you, your guys are trying to find that balance and, and, and everything. At this point, with, with the way you got with some of these losses have been by double digits, how do you try to get that stabilized? Or do you think it's just too early right now to try to figure out kind of how to figure that out? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of work being put in just to, you know, remind our guys about our standards and what are, you know, our core values, you know, off the floor, on the floor. Um, you know, we just got to have it consistently to show up every single night, knowing that we can control every single day, um, you know, how we're going to outcompete now together, our opposition. There's going to be nights where you're going to make some mistakes. You're going to miss some shots. It's the nature of the game. Uh, luckily, it's early in the season, you know, but this is definitely hopefully something that as we're going through these ups and downs, our guys just continue to fight through and keep working through it and understanding, uh, you know, when we're good, what we're doing and when we're not. Uh, let's eliminate that and, you know, uh, try to minimize those, uh, you know, lack of urgency or uh, just better production. Um, and then just go out there and just keep finding it better. So is Last question. Oh, Sorry. Sorry. So at this point, is it concerning that seven of these losses have been by double digits? Yeah, I mean, I definitely say it's concerning, um, you know, uh, but I'm not pushing any panic buttons or anything like that. You know, it's a sign of a early season, you know, just a lot of growth opportunities for us. So uh, definitely, you know, it hurts, you know, the games that we've had where these double digit losses um, you know, we just got to keep, you know, going back to what we do every single day and working and, and, you know, this will obviously, you know, make us better in the long run. Last question, Joe Molinax. Hey coach Zaire obviously had uh, an opportunity to get a little bit more minutes, a little bit larger role. He was the first man off the bench tonight, given the fact that Dylan and DeAnthony were out. What are some things moving forward, not just from tonight, but obviously in the months to come that you're looking for from Zaire in terms of his progress in this first season with the team? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, gotten steadily better, you know, game after game. Uh, he puts in the work. I love that. You know, he's continuing to read the game. You know, that naturally happens over your entire rookie season, trying to figure out, you know, where you have your opportunities to make an impact offensively. You know, just, you know, quick release. You know, sometimes he hesitates out there. He's got to shoot with confidence. His teammates have confidence in him. We have confidence in him. Uh, you know, I love the, you know, activity and aggression he's playing with on the defensive end. It's just, you know, I said at the beginning, he's just got to continue to learn the speed and the physicality of the game. So uh, that's reads both offensively and defensively, but just really proud of, you know, the steps that he's taken so far. And as long as he keeps putting in the work, which we know he's going to do, uh, he's going to get a whole lot better. 
All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.